Hey guys, today I've got a Wisecam version 3 fresh out of the box, and we're going to use the new installer to put Thingino on it. Let's go! Alright, here we are back in Windows, and we're going to get ready to put Thingino on this Wisecam version 3. So, first thing we need to do is go into Firefox and get the installer. GitHub dot com slash WL tech blog slash Ingeno installers and that link is in the video description of course now we're going to come over here to Wisecam 3 now I'm just going to interrupt myself here real quick when you're downloading the flash archive check the repository look at that readme because if the flash archive gets updated the instructions in the readme will be updated to match it so if you see something in there that conflicts with what i'm saying in this video follow that readme okay and we've got this wise v3 flasher.zip we're going to click on that and over here we're going to click on the download raw file so that'll get the actual file now I've got an SD card handy. We're going to go ahead and format it. So first we'll pop it in. And we're going to format. Make sure you're set for FAT32. Quick format is fine. And we'll just put in Gino for the volume label. Give it a second to go through that. We're all good. We'll close. Come over to our file explorer. Go into downloads. We're going to right click Wise V3 Flasher. We're going to do extract all. And we're going to browse. And come down, select <laughs> your SD card, which is named Thingino in my case. Do a select, extract only take a moment to get all those files extracted Ta-da! now here we are these are all the files necessary to do this process on the SD card so the last step inside Windows we're gonna right click on the SD card and we're gonna click eject so it is now safe to remove the SD card bye bye Windows it's been fun all right, we are back. We've got our SD card here that we just wrote. We've got our Wisecam version 3. So let's go ahead and get this process started. Now to access the SD card spot, you have to fold the foot out of the way. And up here you can just get your fingernail in there, peel the slot open. Take the SD card, pop it in. Make sure it clicks like so. And we're going to be powering off of the laptop here so let's go ahead and plug it in and I'll explain what it's doing while it's doing it this is fairly quick we plugged in the red light is on meaning that it saw the factory file it boots that up and enters a script where it starts doing the backup of the factory firmware while it's doing this three color flash that's what it's doing it's taking a backup of the factory firmware and this takes about 30 seconds or so give or take it is a 16 megabyte flash and when it's done it's going to detect the hardware in the cam and it's going to choose the correct firmware and rename that file before rebooting another step this is doing actually before that one is flashing the bootloader which should be done now. It should be at the rebooted stage. So now we have just the solid blue light and that should be it updating using the auto update method. So we're going to get prepared here because it's not gonna take too long before the flash process is complete. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. So we just blinked our light. That was another reboot. So this is the first time now that it is booting into the Thingino firmware. 
it has a few extra steps it needs to do after that before we're going to get our config network but we're really close to the finish line here one of those steps I believe contains a sleep 30 so that is a extra 30 second delay on the process now of course being a wise cam version 3 this is not a camera that I recommend that you buy and I do have a link in the description for a much better camera at a better price that if you're thinking about buying something just for Thingino you're way better off with the one in the link below so we just rebooted again that's after the sleep this time it should come up and we should get our portal here in just a second just waiting for it to appear on the phone and there it is then Gino dash and then some random characters to uniquely identify the camera now we have the sign in page otherwise known as our config portal so we have root password we have our Wi-Fi credentials I'll go ahead and punch those in Now you hit save, it lets you review all the things that you put in there and make sure it looks good. Then you hit the button that says proceed. Once you do that, it'll take you to a configuration complete page and the camera will save those settings and reboot. Now once the camera is rebooted, you should see it on your network. If you saw my previous video on the Wise Cam version 2, you know that you can also tap the reset button after the camera is fully booted up and it'll actually read out its IP address that you can punch right into your web browser. So we're going to do that. We're just going to give it a second here to finish its startup process. I haven't even taken the film off it. That's how fresh it is right out of the box. All right, let's see if we've waited long enough and we're just going to tap. The button is labeled setup. Well, hopefully you heard that. It just read the IP address out and now I know what to punch into my web browser in order to reach it. Well, that's it. That is the fastest installer for the WiseCam version 3 yet. And hopefully that is the last revision of the installer for quite some time. Once you get the firmware installed, you can now actually update the firmware from within the web UI. So look for that. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you got use out of this, I'd appreciate it if you'd give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I've got a lot more videos on Thingino and other projects coming and definitely appreciate having you here. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. If you're interested in these sorts of projects around hardware hacking, electronics, little Linux boxes, things like that, check us out over at the Discord channel, which is linked down in the description as well. That's also the place to go if you need any help after you have installed Thingino. So we'll see you next time. Until then, stay fresh, cheese bags.